Hi guys, so I'm here and I got the glossy box. I got boxy charm here. Again, glossy box, boxy charm. Um, and we're gonna open them up and see what I thought about all these items. And uh, so let's just get right into it. The glossy box had one of these wine vouchers. I've never used these wine vouchers. I don't know if anybody ever has, but I guess if you like wine. Okay, so it ha comes with the typical pink glossy box. Kind of missing the other curated boxes that were really nice. This one says glossy box, glossy retreat. So I like their little pamphlets that they have in here. It's always like nice little tips and everything that they give you. All right, so, okay, here's the inside of the box. And let's start from this side over here. The first thing in here is Supreme Vital Revitalizing Mask, and it's for your hair. So it's just a hydrating mask for your hair. It says to, let me see, after cleansing with replenishing hair cleanser, apply a quarter size amount of product to wet, clean hair, working from the mid shaft to the ends. Um, leave on for five minutes and then rinse. So this is sealed up, so I'm not gonna crack this one open just yet. All right, next in here is um, from Georgette Klinger. It's a rose clarifying toner. So this has witch hazel, antioxidants, aloe vera, dissolves dirt and deep cleans your pores while maintaining healthy hydration and pH balance. So it's supposed to smell like rose and jasmine flower because it has jasmine flower extract. I'm actually gonna open this one up because I love rose water. This smells really nice, actually. It doesn't smell exactly like rose water I guess because it has a little jasmine but it definitely doesn't smell like jasmine because I really don't care for the scent of jasmine in skincare or anything like that so that's nice next is from Toka this is Montauk salt air cucumber now when I opened the box I smelt this right away and I really really liked it and I really don't care about um, cucumber all that much but the, this one smells like super super clean this is really really nice the cute little candle. It smells so good. I can't wait to burn this in my room. So a full-size candle is $42. That's really, really expensive. I mean, I've bought expensive candles, but not that expensive. <clears throat> I don't know what a 10-ounce candle looks like. I mean, this is like a 1.2-ounce candle, so I'm curious. Now I have to go and look around my room and look and see what size the candles are that are around my room because I'm really curious. $40 for a candle? Hope it's a really big candle. Okay, next from Nails Inc. This is um, $15, let me see. Now I get my nails done, so I probably won't be using this on myself, but I think my daughter would really, really love this pretty pink color. Next, I've gotten um, things from this before. This is Royal Apothic, I think that's how you say it. This is called Scrubby, this is a sugar lip scrub. Um, I can't remember if it was this particular same scrub or not. This is in fig. I wanna say yes, and it was like a large size that I had gotten. I do like lip scrubs, so I am excited to use this one. I'm not done with the current lip scrub that I'm using right now, um, but I love lip scrubs. They're really good, especially if you're using lots of dry, you know, like matte lip, liquid lipsticks. It's really good to have. And the last thing in here is from Invisibobble. Um, I have a couple of these that I got in other boxes. They're like those, um, they kind of look like those old fashioned key rings that are kind of twirly or whatever. And so this one here, um, it doesn't look like the typical one, but it's got the Invisibobble on the inside of this material here. So this is an $8 scrunchie. I don't know if I would pay $8 for this scrunchie, but it's, it is cute. I like it. Um, I always have a scrunchie on my wrist at all times at work because you never know when you got to go and run into a patient's room for whatever because I don't technically work on the floor at my job. I'm um, like one of the directors, assistant director of nursing there at my job. So I'm not always on the floor and I'm not always with the patients in the patient rooms. But when I do, I always like to have a scrunchie so that if I have to go into the patient's room or I have to do any care or any emergency care, I can just put my hair back and get into it. So. I like this one. This one's nice to keep on my wrist. So that's everything in the box. It's not that bad of a box. Um, I think it's a pretty decent box. 
So we got one, two, three, four, five, six items in this box. And like I said, pretty decent. All right, let's move on to BoxyCharm, my favorite box. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pull out the little card here. I love their cards because they give great detail. Not that Glossy Box doesn't, because it does also. They give the exact prices of all the items in the box. So it's nice that you don't have to kind of like do the math and kind of estimate what's the cost of this and that. Because Glossy Box has, has full size items, but most of them are like deluxe size. Um, and BoxyCharm always has the full, full size items. This month BoxyCharm says Alter Ego on there. And um, let's just get into all the items in here. All right, first thing I'm gonna pull out is from Kat Von D. This is an Everlasting Lipstick. This one's in the shade K-Dub. It looks like a really bright, bold pink, which uh, unfortunately, oh, it's like a purpley pink. I just got one of these in last month's box, I think. Is it this, let me see. Yeah, it's a Lorac Pro. It's a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit bolder, but I just got a purpley lipstick, liquid lipstick last month. Let me see what the card says. Oh, they have such a pretty shade that's right here. It's like a nice neutral peachy pink color. I wish I would have gotten that one. Enjoy a smooth, creamy, lightweight liquid lipstick that stays on all day long. Uh, vegan, cruelty free, coats in just one swipe, um, moisturizing, and comfortable. So it's 20 bucks for this thing. Next in here is from Green Clean. This is a makeup melt away cleansing balm from Pharmacy. Um, I haven't, I've gotten a few things from this brand, but I've never actually used them. I want to say it's almost citrusy, but um, a cleansing balm I haven't used. So I'll try this out, use it in the shower. Uh, let's see, what does it say here? It says, a cult favorite makeup cleansing balm melts away even the boldest of makeup looks. It's powerful enough to remove every last trace of long wear makeup yet ultra nourishing on your skin, leaving it hydrated and smooth. And next is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've tried this and I, from what I can remember, I was not highly impressed with it. Let me just take a look at what the wand looks like. Um, damn, this is a massive mascara wand. I guess I had um, like a sample size. Um, let me see. Hmm, no, this is not the one that I was thinking of. I was thinking of one of the mascaras that it kind of had like, it looked like two little balls on it. Um, so this is not the same mascara. All right, so let's see what it says here um elastic stretch volumizing mascara it says 96 percent said lashes look stretched saw 96 percent saw dramatic volume and length 96 percent saw plumper looking lashes and 100 percent saw a fuller lash line so apparently you're supposed to get longer lashes thicker lashes so if that's the case then i'm all about it so yes but we will see. Next, I thought this was really, really interesting. This is a bamboo, uh, black bamboo charcoal peel off mask. Um, there's like a tube on the inside here and you're supposed to, like the mask is supposed to be like a lace mask and you're supposed to um, put this mask on and I guess smooth over the contents that's inside the tube. Um, it says charcoal peel paste and lace compression mask over spa-like extraction results. The naturally blended peel paste in conjunction with the mask grips on, um, to the skin, helping to further draw impurities for a deep con decongestion and exfoliation experience. So this seems super unique, and I don't know if you can reuse, because it feels like maybe there's more than one use in here in the tube. I don't know how many um, of the lace masks are in here. I'm assuming it's only one. So you know who I'm going to watch. I am going to watch, um, I'm going to go watch Cassie's video because she always uses everything in her box and tries everything out. So I'm definitely going to go and try out, uh, try out to watch Cassie's video, how she does it so that, you know, at least I can see her do it first and I don't have to make the mistake. So if she does it, I can see how she does it and then I'll try it out. 
Oh, yes. Last thing in here is from Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. So there's blushes and eyeshadows in here. Here's the blushes, the eyeshadows. Looks like there's six eyeshadows and four blushes. Uh, okay, they have like a little really nice lacy print on there. Let's say we have a silver, a brown, like a royal blue, a greenish gold, a burgundy purple, and like a charcoal gray. There's only one matte in there. Okay, the blush shades up here. Um, I kind of did a hard swatch here and buffed it out on the side. Again, a hard swatch and a buff, and the same here. You can definitely see using all of these on the eyes, um, and not so much on the cheeks, actually. The only one I think I would possibly use on the cheeks is maybe this one, because this is a little bit too shimmery, and while this is nice, this has a little bit too much shimmer for the color that it is. Um, so I think I would probably use all these shades for the eyes, which I'm not mad about that because I actually love these shades compared to the shades that are down here. All right, so let's see. BoxyCharm has the palette, the mask, a face, what was this called again? Um, cleansing Balm, a mascara, and a liquid lip. So all nice. I mean, these are all full-size items. I'm not sure what the total cost of this box is, but for sure... It's well worth over the $21 a month that you have to pay. I'm least excited about the purple lipstick. Um, I know I've heard that, you know, yeah, it's nice to have the purple. It's really pretty, but it's just not my go-to. I prefer neutral lips, neutral shadows. That's just my go-to. I'm not a bold kind of colored person when it comes to eye makeup and lipstick. Um, I might go burgundy or, or like a deep red, but as far as colors, I'm more the neutral type, so these, even these shadows, even though they're very pretty, um, I may not use it, but I am very excited to try out the, the cheek shades here. So that is that. What do you guys think? I saw on the internet, on the internet, because you know it's true, I saw on um, Instagram, actually, that there were some different things going into the boxes, and I think Glossy Box was one, and... Um, Oxycharm, I can't remember if there were different things. I think there is. Um, probably different colors for lip shades and stuff. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.